So there's so much chatter around the real estate market right now and interest rates and what what's going to happen and inflation and is the real estate market going to crash? I mean, my thoughts on this is like, we just all have to put things in perspective. You know, there is, there's like, nothing is binary. You know, everything is, uh, everything's on a spectrum and context is the, the thing that we ha always have to keep in perspective. And so let me share this with you guys. Interest rates right now, right? So 6%, 6.5%. Like it doesn't, it doesn't knock out all of the buyers. It's not like total doom and gloom, like I think the media is making of it, which is just freaking out all of these new real estate agents. You have to put things in perspective. If you look historically speaking, that still puts interest rates pretty damn low, um, you know, based on like a whole time horizon and not just looking over the last couple of years it's quite the inverse. Like what's happened over the last couple of years is quite, um, it was like an anomaly, like these low interest rates, super high prices, rates we've never seen before. That's the lowest. Okay. So when we talk about the spectrum, they're the lowest we've ever seen. And then when you see home prices, they're the highest we've ever seen. Okay. That's on a spectrum. But if you look across time, what's happening over the last couple of years, it's just not reality. Like it's just not a normal, real estate market. So I think that's important to, to keep in mind as we navigate through this shifting market, not a market crash, a shifting market. What does that mean? Shifting market means yes, markets go from seller's markets to neutral markets, to buyer's markets, to seller's markets. So we're shifting out of a seller's market into more of a neutral market. So what does that mean? That means that houses will take a little longer to sell. Yeah, they're not gonna sell in two days on average with 17 offers. That won't be the reality, it's okay. Doesn't mean the market's crashing. So they might take 90 days to sell. I remember uh, in, in a buyer's market when the average days on market was five and a half months on average to, to accept an offer. Like, could you imagine that? And so we were just fine. So uh, that's something to consider that it's not all doom and gloom. The other thing to put into perspective is let's look on the other side of the spectrum. So we talked about what we have been in over the last couple of years as it relates to the highest prices we've ever seen in combination with the lowest interest rates we've ever seen which for most real estate agents that have been in the business last four or five years, it's really all that they know. So let me help you guys out, give you some more perspective. So if you look at, so we talked about the best, let's talk about the worst. The worst time to be in real estate during the great recession of 2008, 2009, we had about four and a half million home sales at the worst real estate market the country has ever seen ever. And in the best market last year, 2021, we had six and a half million. Context matters. It, was, it isn't like, okay, we went from, we're gonna go from six and a half million home sales to zero. See, that's binary thinking. That's all or nothing thinking. It's not even gonna be close. Like what will probably happen most likely is we dropped from call it six and a half million home sales to like 5.8 not a big deal home prices don't go up by 15 percent maybe they'll go up three percent not the end of the world there's not 10 buyers for every listing maybe there's three buyers for every listing homes don't sell with four or five offers, they're selling with one or two offers. Homes are selling in 60 days instead of 15 days. You see, everything's on a spectrum. Context, context matters. And this binary thinking of like all or nothing is the thing that creeps everybody out. And I just wanna give you from personal experience, being in the mortgage business, in the real estate industry now 
for 17 years going through I've been I'm lucky enough to go through both I've gone through the worst real estate market and the best and I'll tell you it's the it's the 80 20 principle 80 percent of the time is spent neither in one of those markets but I've seen both and I've been through both and both people succeed at a high high level both so don't let the media uh all this doom and gloom talk about what's happening in the world today get you down and say man am i am i in the right place should i be in real estate right now there are going to be realtors that grow their business over the next three to five years exponentially you're going to see it i promise you you're going to see it become a lot easier to get listings you're going to see it become more enjoyable to work with buyers because you're not having to run around like a crazy person every time a house hits the market and this high, high sense of urgency, quite frankly, for most of you, and I really believe this, you probably will like selling real estate more in this new market than you have uh, over the past couple of years. That's probably what's gonna come of it. But for a lot of people have the mindset of like, man, maybe I should get out. Don't think that way. I bet you, I bet you, you make more money, take more listings, enjoy your business more in the next couple of years than you have in the past couple of years. I'm hoping that that gives you a new perspective on things. We'll see you guys tomorrow.